I've had cancer twice. The second time I had two different cancers that they found at the same time. It's really shocking because it's hard to imagine dying. You know, when your life is very full, it's really hard to think, well, you know, it could be all over shortly. You know, you just realise that just like that, your life can change. I first heard about cancer when I was 12 and one of my schoolmates' mothers got breast cancer and she was dead in three weeks. And that wasn't uncommon in those days. One of the big problems when I was a student and, and even in my early practice was that people had a fairly negative attitude towards it because they didn't think they could do much. So people did what they could and, and did their best, but it took really a few, it took the trailblazers to take it forward and, and impress others that there were other ways of going forward. And cancer councils have supported that forever. The Cancer Council Australia turning 50 is a, a milestone, and I think a lot's been achieved in that time. We have raised the awareness of cancer, but more importantly, we've seen great strides in cancer control, and there's the promise of even better to come. Cancer Council funds a very broad spectrum of research. This year alone, in 2011, we're funding more than $50 million of research. People are living for longer after they've been diagnosed with cancer, either with the disease or in a, a state of remission. I mean, everybody wants a cure, but we're still waiting for cures, and the, the sorts of work that we do is really helping um, patients to get back to live the fullest lives that they can, either with their disease or without it. Well, when we hear about cancer research, we need to go to someone or a body that can put it in perspective for us and the Cancer Council does that. They're able to say yes this is important or no this is not important and reassure um, our viewers about cancer research and we can call on them whether it's to do with skin cancer, lung cancer, bowel cancer and they can, they can help us uh, steer us in the right direction when it comes to cancer research. In Australia at the moment uh, the public health uh, campaigns against uh, the development of skin cancer, in other words, sun protection campaigns, are the envy of the world. So we can look forward to fewer people developing skin cancers, uh, fewer skin cancers per people, and because the, of the awareness um, in Australia about skin cancer, and in particular melanoma, earlier cure rates and less death, particularly from melanoma, with time, because of the cancer councils. Smoking levels have never been lower than they are in Australia today. Cancer Council Australia in recent years has played a, a marvellous uh, coordinating uh, role for national lobbying and advocacy for, uh, for cancer control. And in the um, lung cancer and other smoking caused diseases area, it has really uh, been one of the dominant players. So we've been incredibly grateful that the Cancer Council uh, has taken on that role because its credibility and its uh, network of cancer agencies around the country is really unparalleled. The Helpline is a free and confidential telephone and information support service. It's for patients and carers that have a diagnosis of cancer. Whilst the calls are very hard and often very difficult, we can actually make a difference in people's lives and so it's quite, quite rewarding as a, a health professional to come in and know that your work actually impacts in a positive way. And so that's one of the beautiful parts about being on the Helpline, is being able to make a difference. The Cancer Council were fantastic. They uh, organised that I could have someone to counsel me, which made a really big difference. I don't know if I could have got through it without that bit of, that, that little chunk of help.